I still remember 2019 like it just happened recently. This was the year that I first entered my college year, which made me super nervous but excited at the same time. Everything was great and it went exactly as planned. Well, of course, I am Nick Ayman after all. Studying is life. Without it keeping me busy, I would probably feel empty because life is not as fun unless I study often. People see me as a nerd, but I do not feel bothered at all. I prefer to study alone actually. I'm not comfortable studying with my peers. Exercising is what keeps my mind and body healthy. A healthy mind goes a long way to keep my grades high. I do sports too. Volleyball is my favorite, but I do not enjoy the company of others. So track and field are my go-to exercises. As the saying goes, family comes first. Words cannot describe my love for my family. Although I like to spend my time studying, my priority still goes to my family. See my classmates here. They all like me. It is impossible for anyone to dislike me because I am smart and athletic. Hmm, someone's having too much fun. I bet she's having bad grades in school. Hmm, no wonder. Doesn't she realize hanging out with friends is mostly a waste of time? Berikutan penularan jangkitan COVID-19. What is this? COVID-19? A virus pandemic at times like this? This virus looks somewhat contagious. I think I should be more careful about this. Wait, I wonder how online classes work. It probably won't affect my studies, right? Hey, I'm Ni Aiman. I can do this. Okay, doctor, no problem. No, 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 this cannot be happening. Like, oh my god. How on earth did I get this result? I studied so hard, but then my results, my grades are ridiculous, so ridiculous. I like, I cannot handle this online learning, to be honest. How am I going to face my parents? <sighs> Why am I like this? What did I do wrong? Is it because of my laptop? Or the apps that I downloaded? Or is it because the way I study? But I thought too soon. Why? Why me? First my grades, now my dad is being taken from me? Do I not deserve to be happy? Why does this virus even exist? Life during COVID crushed me. I didn't want to do anything. Even answering my friend's call seems unmotivating. Why do I have to answer? They probably won't understand what I'm going through. Penny! I hear it when my friends talk to me. Can they just leave me alone? Nothing seems appetizing to me anymore. Everything is just so bland and tasteless. Hi, so I just want to share something. Even with struggles because of COVID, I still manage to be happy. How? 
bro. It's because the steps of taking care of your own mental well-being. It's very important. Take note, guys. She's right. So what is actually stopping me from being happy? I can fix this. Maybe I should do what she's doing. Steps to take care of mental well-being. Okay, I should apply this. Finally, I think I have achieved happiness. But then, why do I still feel empty inside? It's like I'm missing something. Is this supposed to be happiness? Wait, why none of my friends like my photos on Instagram? Aren't they all my friends? Have I ever treated them badly before? I, I don't think so. Or have I? I need some fresh air. Hey, Nick, is that you? Uh, Farhan, is it? Uh, no, I'm Imran. Oh, Imran, right, right. I see, I see. My bad, uh, my bad. It's been a long time. How have you been? Yeah, uh, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, I'm just sitting in my room doing some productive stuff. Yeah. Ah, I see. But you don't really look so good, isn't it? Do I? Yeah. Mm, yeah, I guess I guess you're right. Lately, I feel like I'm missing something. It's like, I'm a bit lonely inside. Yeah. I see. I don't want to sound rude, but maybe it's because you haven't been in touch with your friends lately. What do you think so? Mm, remember that time when our friend invited us into Discord? Hey, you guys. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you guys heard of Discord? No, no, no. no. Well, look at this. Here, come here. Even before COVID came, we used Discord to connect with each other. Bro, we're missing out. Uh, anyways, let's just forget about it. Uh, let me show you how to use this card. Yeah, sure. Show me, show me. Uh huh. Uh, see. And then, uh, can you see? Hello. Thanks to Imran, I felt something different, as if it was a different type of happiness. I was so scared that no one wanted to be friends with me, but this is different. It was easier to study when they were real company. I started to be more open and let them teach me the things that I don't know. I felt so little, they were so much better than me. Now, 
I learn better with them, even my grades are getting higher. Now, instead of posting on Instagram, I showed the pictures to them. They were somehow excited to see the productive photos that I took during COVID. And the meet arrived. I was scared at first, but there was nothing to worry. This got made it feel like we were talking face to face. It wasn't awkward at all, even when meeting up again with my peers physically. I am grateful for the way things are going. As for now, I feel content and happy. The journey I had of achieving mental well-being is not an easy one. Nevertheless, giving up is not an option. The enhancement of our mental well-being is very important. Whenever we face struggles and challenges in our life, remember to take a step back and don't forget to connect.